And if you're joining my channel for the first time, um, so I am a budgeting channel, I guess you can say. Um, I focus on cash stuffing, savings challenges, in the hopes of being financially stable and debt free. Um, I have currently paid off my biggest debt this month um, through cash stuffing. I have only been doing it for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm currently starting fresh with my binders. Um, and this will be getting stuffed. These are my binders, so they can just see them from a distance. Um, they'll be getting cash stuffed in about a week from now when I get paid, because I do get paid at the end of the month. I had previously two jobs, so I worked a full-time job in the Monday to Friday, and then a part-time job on weekends, which I did 20 hours to start with, and then I dropped that down to 15 hours. However, it was a bit, a bit a lot for me. So I decided to um, let that job go just for my mental health and just because I was so exhausted. Um, and so I've been kind of enjoying having my weekends back, to be honest. Um, today's video is pretty much my monthly budget. I've just only started this. So this is my first one. So I do apologise if it goes a bit array um, because I just wanted to kind of start putting things down, writing um, and just seeing where my money is going and how I'm financing it. Um, so this is kind of my first video doing this with my new kind of a planner as well. This is the one that got from Fox and Moon. Um, so I think I did a video regarding it. It was just pretty good. Um, so we'll start off by kind of what the top is my fixed income. So I'll still get paid for my few hours that I did before I left the job, um, which is my part time job. Um, and that was should be one hundred and eighty pounds because I did over time and um i think one other day if i'm not mistaken it could be more but from how i worked out in terms of like the cut off date i'm most likely only gonna get the the overtime that i did and one other day so that day that passed the cut off date um, but i tend to be wrong with this kind of stuff so that could be either more or less when i do get paid um and i'll just have to probably change it accordingly but um, should be around this figure so it's 180 and my main job I get paid 1940 and so I'll just put the total here I'm oh, sorry guys you can't see that can you so that's 2120 And you're gonna work on me there um and obviously yeah at the top i didn't mention but yeah i couldn't have zero savings because everything i had in my cash stuff is gone and then total debt at the moment is 1416 and that's uh, my credit card my two credit cards and a loan that i've got so that's the amount however this amount one more one more the last loan will be getting paid off again the end of this month so um we'll only have the credit cards left going forward um so and i don't have any variable kind of income so i'm just going to kind of show you how i've done it i kind of wanted to make it less boring in a way by just filling it out rather than you see me video or pause it i do apologize for my writing um so hopefully you can see it. So I've started off the dates. Unfortunately, I for, like I forgot she have gone in chronological order. So that was my mistake. But these are my expenses that are kind of fixed for the month. Um, so I've got board, which is pretty much another way for saying the rent that I pay my mom. <laughs> uh, but it's not really rent. It's just kind of more to just like stay with her. Um, which is one fifty. I then have the phone, which I'm paying off this month. So that's one hundred and fifty five, just because it's I'm paying off the handset. Um, I just thought I might as well pay it off because I'm currently paying 50, I think 16 pounds, I think it's 16 pounds, 16 pounds for the handset that I'm using and then six pounds for the SIM card, which I don't use because I only got the phone itself for the phone, but I couldn't get the phone without getting the SIM. So I ended up just having to get the SIM card, but I'm paying six pounds every month for a SIM card I'm not using. Um, 
so i'm just thought i'm also pay off the handset then i can cancel the sim as well because i can just pay that off and then i don't have to keep paying for the sim that i'm not using so there's only 155 pounds left so i thought i might as well pay that off and it's done one more less thing that i'm kind of tied to in terms of contractually so that will be getting paid off and i won't have to pay anything more for that because technically i'm paying for two phones my old phone which i was using and then this new handset that i've got because my phone fell in water basically let me try and make it a really short story <laughs> my phone fell in water about a year ago i was really panicking and at that time I wasn't really at a place to to have that happen to me because i was just gonna yeah i was just not great in terms of financially so i just thought oh my god let me just in case this phone doesn't work because obviously i put it in rice like people advise and i thought in case it doesn't work let me just get a handset now so by the time this phone is in you know this rice for about 24 hours whether it works or not, I've got a handset regardless and it can, it will be getting delivered to me. So I ended up just getting the handset as like a backup because I, I really thought that phone was gone. But, you know, thankfully the rise trick worked and it was fine. Um, and so only recently I thought, oh, I just want kind of bit better camera footage for uh, video. So I started using this one, but my old phone is, it does still work, but it was just getting a bit slow. And I think it was mainly more to the data um, it was too full <laughs> but uh, I still got that one anyway as, as another backup so I just thought I was, so I was paying for two um, sim cards plus a handset so now at least I'll just be paying for one sim card which is the one that I'm using now I hope that made sense I might have just been a ramble but um, moving on <laughs> and then I've got travel which is now increased from 57 to 60 pounds I've got nursery which is 230 um, my ex pays um child maintenance so his tops up this amount um and then so this pays for the full amount of nursery for the days that little one goes to nursery and then we've got dental insurance which is 24 pounds life insurance which is 18 i've got the loan that i'm paying off this month which is the last amount is 266 i think like an 80 pence but yeah 266 i'll probably just round it up to 267 um 266 and then i've got what the credit card one that's the one with 900 pounds that needs paying so i'm going to pay 50 and then it's just going to pay the minimum payments this month seeing as i'm already paying a big amount on the loan and then uh, the credit card number two i'm going to pay 30 pounds that's the one that has 250 on it so i'm just going to calculate how much um this amount costs so this is for my fixed expenses so they pretty much never change um, except obviously for the loans because I can sometimes pay more or less uh, but these will pretty much stay the same obviously minus the phone because I'm paying a big lump sum to finish it off but going forward the phone will be like £25 every month for just the sim because it is like unlimited everything so um, and obviously nursery and then I've got family because this month I've got to send some money um, to my sister so that'll be 150 which is what i've budgeted for this month and storage is still a question mark on here because um i'm not sure if i'm going to go with that storage unit um because i did find one it was cheaper i think it was like 23 pounds because at the moment they've got a deal for like for a year it's 50 percent off plus 10 percent off or something like that um so i think when I went and looked at it, it was like £23 and some pence per week, which worked out really good because I think, if I'm not mistaken, if I've quoted the right amount, it was like nine, it worked out as £90 a month. So it might be a little bit more than 23 actually. But it was £90 a month. Um, and obviously at the moment I'm paying 160 a month. Um, but now obviously, because I, I delayed it, I was thinking Umin and Aaron plus I was waiting for payday. Um, it's now gone to, I think, 100, it's 100 and seven a month which is still not that bad to be honest um however obviously i wanted to get the cheapest i could get so it's 107 still saving in hindsight to 160 so i would need 277 including the 107 for the new storage contract as well as 170 for the removal van so this is still questionable because i'm not sure if i'm going to do it now or a bit later but i really did want to get this done sooner rather than later because if any saving is a saving at the end of the day um, I'm just going to start keying this in while I'm talking. Um, so that's 150. And I'll show you it once I've done it because I just can't get it into short. Um, every time I do like a different setup, it's like, oh God, I've not done it properly. But um, you learn. So 
I'm just going to do the first one, which is the fixed, which is 983. I'll just show you guys. 983. And then the family 150 and the storage unit, which I might or may not do, but I'm still going to just calculate it. So that would be 427. Just 427. Um, and then obviously if we added those up together, I'm just going to try and get this into short. I'm just going to try and add the 9, 8, 3 and the 4. I don't know if you can see it. Just lift it up so you guys can see. Um, 9, 8, 3 plus a 4, 8, 7. I'm just going to add those up together. That's probably going to slide down. I'm hoping it doesn't. 9, 8, 3. 427. So that looks like it's 1, 4, 1, 0, 1,410. That's what we got from adding the fixed and the budgeted amount. So this month's income, which is 2,120. Minus the total expenses, which is 1,410, leaves us with, let's calculate that, so 2120 minus 1410, leaves us with 710. So that's just the working out there. So it leaves us with 200, sorry, 710, which is what I will be cash stuffing um, this month. Um, so it might be a little tweaked, either a little bit higher or a little bit lower, depending on my final pay for my last job. Because um, I also calculated the holidays as well, if I'm not mistaken. So the holidays, um, I think I had, I'm sure I had 9.5 holidays. Um gonna try work out here so 9.5 um, and then just times that by the amount that I got paid then it's the tax Had to do it again, guys. Yeah, so it should be right uh, from my calculations. Um, because I only had 9.5 days of holidays, but I'm sure I'd taken maybe two, so that I might have brought it to seven actually. But it still should work out about right anyway. Um, and obviously I will show you, I'll let you know in the next video if how much difference, whether I was obviously way off and I got more or you know just about right or i got really about less which i'm hoping it won't be less than that um so yeah 710 is what we should be cash stuffing um in about a week's time um i do get paid for my weekend one this friday so i might just wait until i get my full pay and then i'll just do it as one um and then just yeah make one video but yeah this is kind of my first budgeting planner with you guys so hopefully it was okay i know it was difficult to get everything in shot while i was writing and calculating but that's pretty much where i'm at and um hopefully um we can get this number down the amount of the debt 1416 um which will be nice so but yeah i shall see you in the next one guys and i forgot to say thank you so much for helping me reach 100 subscribers i didn't even realize i was like oh yes until somebody commented and said i think i'm your 100th subscriber which i was like oh Hey, so thank you so much guys for subscribing for liking for commenting i really do appreciate it um yeah it's all appreciated and um thank you for joining me on this journey which i know i always say which is very much bumpy uh, unpredictable and very like scary sometimes because you're just like will i ever get it will i ever get there but i think like i'll say just take it one day at a time and don't put too much pressure on yourself um at the end of the day 
life happens um things happen so you can't always get it right as long as you're doing the right things to get yourself in a better position that's all anybody could could ask of themselves so um i hope people can at least be inspired or at least um try and start getting financially free um whatever way that may be it doesn't have your cash staffing but whatever works for you um but yeah thank you so much guys for all the likes and the follows and the subscribers um i will hope to do a giveaway soon um just to um say thank you to everybody so um watch this space um till then i shall see you soon guys have a good one and see you in the next one bye